main shield's right here, 27 minutes from GameSpot. So, let's see. Ooh, that one's eight. Ooh, eight of. Oh my, company! How on earth did you get in here? Oh, please don't fret. I have no intention of making a meal of you. Please call me the Duke. I am but a humble merchant, purveyor of goods to lords and ladies, prophets. I do so strive to please my patrons. I hope we can become well acquainted. So we're definitely going to learn more about Duke in the DLC, which is a good thing. I feel like part of the main game, he was kind of a loose end. Not something that like we really like knew much about, but happy that we're going to learn more about him. This place is a veritable hoard of information gathered from all throughout the realms of man. The more hard won the knowledge, the higher the price. But you look like you're well aware of the value of such things. Well, since we're here, I've got a few morsels I'd love to share with such a connoisseur. Please, take a gander. No. World premiere! The winter legacy lives on. Winter's legacy lives on. Can't read. Capcom, you know, you love them. Happy half birthday, Rose. Half birthday? The father's nightmare comes to an end. I just want to find my daughter. Now we got third person. You can see Ethan's face. I'll always be there for you, no matter what. Precious Rose. Right, Ethan, that's your daughter. So long as we were together. Oh, Leo. I'm so sorry. I love you. Now the daughter must face her fears. Ethan Winter, the kind husband, loving father, who put family. All first, I think that's it. Oh. Oh. Sometimes I get lost or afraid. I try to imagine what he might have said to me. Here. Oh. Your imminent demise is inevitable. I love you, but I won't let anything happen to Rose. I've got this. <laughs> I got this. Uh, <laughs> fucking, that was corny. It's fun though. What's this expansion? The whole thing was just to introduce Gold Vision. What's up, Fish? Resident Evil Showcase. I'm Kento Kinoshita, the director of the Winter's Expansion. Ethan gave his life to protect Rose. Why is Rose 16 years old? Because she aged up? <laughs> That's how age works. What kind of person is 16-year-old Rose? That's what we wanted to explore, so we decided to have her at that age in this expansion. Said you had something important to tell me. Shadow of Rose. She's trying to get rid of Realm her unwanted of powers, but to do that, she is forced to return to the origin of her misfortune. Oh, she's trying to get rid of her powers. A lot of potential for an interesting story. So the setting this time is the realm of consciousness, going back one more time to that village. The word Shadows of Rose, fear, in the new story. For instance, 
If you've ever had a childhood fever that caused a nightmare, even if they only last for an instant, like the feeling of being attacked by a giant doll. Oh, what the else, fuck? Oh, I don't like that. Can remain as a oh, what the fuck is the um? Rest of your life. That mannequin thing. Oh my god, I don't like that. Fear to come from the kind of memories and nightmares that still haunt people to this day. The mercenaries' additional orders deciding the new we characters. We wanted to choose characters that would interest people who didn't play the mercenaries mode, but would be interested in playing a different type of character. There are characters called lords, and playing as them allows you to perform amazing skills and attacks that a regular human could not. Being able to play them was more fun, <laughs> so that's why we chose those characters. <laughs> She's so tall compared to them. Oh my god! Oh my god! The choke! To ensure that as little the mercenaries' additional orders was just what was adjusted. Appear. For instance, if a player doesn't finish off an enemy, it will chase after the player. We made adjustments like this to raise the tempo and increase the fun of defeating enemy after doll DLC. I don't like the doll DLC. That's I don't like that. I don't like dolls in general. They fucking they're creep me out. Third person mode. Why add a new POV? As if it's through your own eyes. So it can be incredibly scary to play a horror game from that perspective. There are some players out there who might find it too scary or experience motion sickness in the first person perspective. Yeah, I can see why. They might not enjoy the FPS genre. Mm. So we wanted to make a third person mode for So they're just players. trying so they're trying to appease audiences. Oh, that's nice. Its fullest. Yeah. Fuck yeah. While there's still a sense of immersion and third fear, person mode highlights of the new POV. When the player character dies, it doesn't feel as much like you yourself are dying. <laughs> and you can enjoy playing it as a game to confront the fear that it creates, oh. which is a very different experience. I think third-person mode is a perfect way for people to return to Resident Evil I think so too. as both a game and an experience. Wouldn't it be okay to show Ethan's face? Third -person mode. Can you see Ethan's face? We gave that question some thought. So even in third-person mode, if you try to turn the camera to see his face, Ethan will look away. <laughs> and quite able to get a good look. <laughs> You can only see the side of his face. That's funny. Each of the three editions are interesting in their own way, and we hope you really enjoy the expansion. I think I will. Let's look forward to it. Thank you. Resident Evil Showcase. They're gonna keep showing this every announcement. An amazing announcement for you. Starting today, a demo for the third person. Demo for third person. Here is the release date and platforms for the demo. This demo can be played for a total of 60 minutes in third person mode or the previously existing first person mode. World premiere. Wait, so dude, I love a side face. What I'm thinking is No, doesn't change. I remember seeing you could download the demo right now. Our reverse. I completely forgot about this. I really hope this isn't copyrighted. Fuck it. I think they're making this a lot more. It's included for free, including, included free with every person of Resident Evil Village. Resident Evil RE Verse is free content for those who own Resident Evil Village or Resident Evil Village Gold Edition. This game has crossplay, and you can fight players across all platforms. So those fish. Who own Resident Evil Village will be able to participate in the <laughs> early access October twenty fourth. October twenty fourth. We're definitely going to give this out a try on stream. For Resident Evil R Reverse after it has been officially released. No shit. Here are some details for the early access and updates. I'm hoping it. I'm hoping it's good. I'm hoping they like it. It looks interesting. Seems like doing a lot more than what was initially announced with it, which is good. Resident Evil Village will be playable on even more platforms. What do you mean by that? Hello, everyone. 
My name is Jeremy Sanders. Is it going on Switch? Oh, Apple. Oh, it's going to be on Mac. Oh, shit. Developers Conference, Capcom announced Resident Evil Village will be coming to the Mac later this year. <laughs> I was like, this on the Switch? Did, did that say Battle Pass? <laughs> be more excited that the game will be available to Mac users around the world between Friday, October 28th. Oh, shit. Resident Evil Village is the first project based on Capcom's RE engine to support the Mac. Oh, shit. And runs natively on Apple Silicon. And since the game is optimized to take advantage of metal free features like metal effects upscaling, gameplay is incredibly responsive. That's cool. With high frame rates and beautiful visuals. This means that every Mac, from MacBook Air to Mac Studio, will be able to play Resident Evil Village with ease. Stay tuned for more information soon. Hello everyone, I am Midoro from Ubitus. And I am Yonatani from Ubitus. It is a great Man, I hope there's a Joe Baker skin. <laughs> project of the Resident Evil franchise on cloud with Capcom. On cloud. With the launch of the cloud version, not only fans from Japan but from all over the world can play the game on, on the Nintendo Switch. Thinking about the download time. The application size is small, but the users can experience smooth gameplay of up to 60 FPS. Up to 60 FPS. In multiple modes that Nintendo Switch offers such as TV mode, tabletop mode, and handheld mode. It is great to be able to focus on the gameplay without thinking about storage space or the download. Cloud time. gaming still fucking it's kind of doo-doo. Network environment by playing the demo before you pre-order or purchase the game. The game can be pre-ordered or purchased after you play the demo. This is to make sure that those who are playing a cloud game for the first time or may have concerns can test it and enjoy the game. With 5G mobile network technology Ooh, 5G so widespread recently, the barrier between installing the game and playing it on cloud is getting smaller and smaller. We hope you will enjoy it and marvel at the technology of cloud gaming as well as its future through the release of Resident I don't Evil think, Village Cloud. I don't think cloud gaming has much future, I'm going to be honest. Resident I don't know. Evil Village Cloud will be available on October 28th, and the Winter's Expansion DLC will follow on December 2nd. Furthermore, RE2 Cloud will launch on November 11, 11. followed by the RE3 Cloud on November 18th, and RE7 Cloud will be available on December 16th. I don't know. I don't really see the point of, like, cloud gaming for the Switch, because, like, you know, imagine, like, I feel like a lot of people want to play their Switch handheld, and... Like, say if, like, you're on, like, you know, a train to somewhere, right? And you want to play your Switch. You need be you constantly have to need good internet. I don't know. If RE8 is so good, where's RE9? They're fucking developing it. Developing it. Leave them alone. Have a look at this. Oh, it's Resident Evil 4. <gasps> God, this looks so fucking good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, that looks so fucking good. Oh. <laughs> Hello everyone. I'm the producer of Resident Evil 4, Yoshiaki Hirabayashi. I'm here today to deliver the newest information about the title. First, please enjoy this new gameplay. <laughs> World premiere. Ooh, let me sure to make sure this is at the highest quality it can. Okay, it is. How far can it go? Oh my god, dude. This looks so fucking good. Oh, I can't wait for this. Oh my god. Oh my god, the lighting! Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. The rat! The rat! <laughs> He, his voice sounds so much deeper 
I don't know if they're using the same. Are they using the same actor, voice actor as um two remake? Hey. They're gonna make sense because no, okay, no, it's definitely the same voice actor. But yeah, his voice sounds deeper because he's older. Technically. Oh my god, it looks so fucking good. Leon looks so fucking good too. Oh my god, look the fucking the UI! Holy shit! Ooh. Oh my god, that looks so fucking good. Oh my fucking god. Oh shit! The break free. Or you use a knife and get away quick. Oh my dude, the blood splatters when he shot him. Oh my god, that looks so... I'm gonna keep saying it looks so fucking good, man, because it does. <laughs> this is what RE4 looked like to me when I was a kid. <laughs> the president's daughter. Hunnigan here, what's your sit rep? The president's daughter, Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Our intel was correct then. Well done. She looks so fucking good too. What's happened to people here? My escorts are. Oh shit. Gotta go. Talk later. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, that running animation was fucking sick. Oh. Oh my god, yes, right in the nostalgia. You get kicked up when they're stunned from the gunshot. Yes. Oh. Yeah, board that shit up. <gasps> the chainsaw guy. Oh my god. Going on the rooftops? Oh my god, the UI for the weapons. Oh shit, oh shit. You don't leave the knife in him, okay. Oh, here he comes. Oh, it destroys the environment with him. Y'all are doing a fucking amazing job with that. Oh my god. Of the title. We think this game will provide a fresh experience with a sense of familiarity if you play the original that both newcomers and Honestly, it seems that, like they're going to be adding like a bit more like I guess like a bit more horror elements to it, which is completely fine. It's like the gameplay looks fucking amazing. Looks and it looks like, you know, they are closing in on Leon. It's fucking mission. And will attack with an even greater variety of methods than in the original release. It, look, it looks like, you know, they're trying to, like, stay true to the original, but, like, add, like, a lot of, like, more modern stuff to it, which is... Oh my god, it looks so fucking good. He parried a chainsaw with his fucking knife! Resource management and upgrade elements are critical for survival. Just as in the original... <gasps> the inventory system! ...will be key. 
In addition to managing the weapons <laughs> and items you carry and synthesizing herbs, this also allows you to craft ammunition and other items. Oh, the merchant. Stranger. Of course, we can't forget the merchant. Something new? You can purchase weapons and items and customize them to suit your playstyle. Oh my fucking god. We've also added a trade mechanic where rare gems you've collected can be exchanged for special items. I like that. <laughs> you can't go wrong with that. They changed his voice actor though. They changed Merchant's voice actor. Damn. While respecting its core experience, Damn. adding new ideas and modernizing the play field. I'm kind of kind of sad about that. Now I'd like to share some new information regarding this product's release. Release date? We announced that Resident Evil 4 will also be available on, on PlayStation, PlayStation 4. 4. In addition to PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and Xbox... They're not releasing it on Xbox One? The PlayStation 4 version can be upgraded to the PlayStation 5 <laughs> digital version at no additional cost. Oh, shit. I'd like to introduce two other editions we are preparing. Two other for editions? Looking for more than the standard no Xbox edition. One release. That's weird. Bergy here. Ooh. Edition, which will be you can change his outfit. Platforms. This includes additional content such as costumes, special weapons, a treasure map, and more. <gasps> physical only collector's edition. Oh, I'm going to have to buy this that. Edition includes the contents of the deluxe edition as well as a Leon figure, oh. a special map, art book, soundtrack, and more. Also, pre-order starts today. If you pre-order the standard edition, you'll receive the attaché case gold and special charm handgun ammo. If you pre-order the deluxe edition or collector's edition, you'll receive the standard edition pre-order bonuses as well as attaché case classic and special charm. I'm I, I'm getting that collector's edition. Oh my god. If you pre-order the digital version on the PlayStation Store, you'll receive a mini soundtrack. A mini soundtrack. That's you fucking can adorable. These bonuses by pre-ordering Resident Evil 4. Thank you for watching so far. You know, no problem. Hard to the game, game looks fucking amazing. Will enjoy. No pre-orders for GameStop yet? Probably tomorrow. I'm probably going to check on like their website or something. We have one more update for you. One more update. Let's take a look. World premiere. Ooh. I'm pretty sure is that the president's daughter? Capcom. You're here looking for someone? Maybe some missing senorita? <gasps> Ashley, where are you? They look so fucking good. Your soul requires cleansing. Ashley Graham, are you in here? Just let me go. Listen. She looks so fucking good. Oh my god. Hearing the president's orders. What is that? What do we do? Oh my god, dude, she looks so fucking good. We need to go. I'm gonna get you home safe. You can stop right there. Ada. Oh no! Bro, I'm a bust. Oh my god, dude. That isn't mommy anymore. That is mother. Oh my fucking god. Bro, she still has my fucking heart. Now, abandon your body. Leave the girl. She's lost. Dude. They made th <laughs> they have no right making her that hot. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's, it looks so fucking good. Oh my god, dude. March 24th! 
Stephanie! Oh my god, that's so much sooner than I thought! Did you enjoy the Resident Evil? I showcase? loved it. Let's recap. First, Resident Evil Village yep. Gold Edition launches on Friday, October 28th. Yep. If you already own Resident Evil Village, you could purchase the Winter's Expansion DLC separately. Yep. Winter's Expansion includes three additional modes. The third person mode, so you can enjoy the main game in a new perspective. The Powered Up, the Mercenaries Additional Orders. And the new story campaign, Shadows of Rose. Oh, yes. A demo for the third person mode will be available today. Don't forget. The early access period for Resident Evil R Inverse begins October 24th for all owners of Village. Yep. Resident Evil Village Cloud, playable on Nintendo Switch via a cloud service, will be available starting October 28th. <laughs> Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, and Resident Evil 7 are also coming to Nintendo Switch via cloud at a later date. Also, the Mac version of Resident Evil Village will be released on October 28th. The newest entry in the series, Resident Evil 4, will release on Friday, Friday March, March 24th, 2023. 2023. I'm so and fucking excited. Today. <laughs> we look forward to it. Thank you very much for watching. Well, well. Looks like oh. you've had your fill. With such a grand display, I should hope so. Oh, I'm afraid I have an appointment I must attend to. Just a bit of bartering with another. <laughs> I think he's with the RE4 merchant. But his information is good. Job. And I shouldn't say any more. Anyway, I do hope I'll see you again. I'll strive to prepare a suitably satisfying stock of goods. It looks so...